Morning folks and welcome back to the channel. My name's Martin for those of you that don't know and today we are back out on the Tiger. So today we are going to try and find a few lanes off the tarmac to see what this bike is capable of. Nothing serious but uh, it's something I need to get used of and it's something that I'm thrilled to be showing you on the channel to take this bike off the tarmac and that's what I bought it for, for that little bit of diversity. Uh, but also today we're going to be doing a review on these fantastic gloves that are sent to me by uh, InBike. They've sent me a couple of pairs to review and uh, so they're going to sponsor me uh, but we're going to talk about these as we go on the ride. Now I've done about 18 miles with these on and straight away they feel as if I've been wearing them for a month. They are very worn in straight from the off which is a massive plus point for me. So these ones in particular uh, as you can see they are sort of a mesh type glove with a goatskin leather as well on them on the top here and all the armour and uh, carbons, uh, Kevlar uh, armor on the top so they're very very comfortable so what we're going to do is get on the bike now get to the destination and talk a little bit more about these as we go so let's get cracking so it's just touched 16 degrees today um sun has been out it keeps hiding behind those doom clouds that are circling but uh, hopefully we will be missing those we want a dry day ride in today. I haven't got the waterproofs, although I keep forgetting because I've got the top box, I can actually keep the waterproofs in there just in case. Put a post it note and reminder for that. the Harley crew that's one thing with this bike is it's very tame if you want it to be and she's a different animal or a tiger <laughs> if you want to call it that when you want it to be as well so like now you know I've just come off the bypass it's six gear we're in there off the dual carriageway into the single carriageway and no need to drop down into a corner 35 mile an hour in sixth gear and it's still it's not chugging you can change down now fifth fourth but because it's got such a flat torque curve on this bike it will pull straight in most gears obviously you don't want to be going too low but from 30 mile an hour onwards and there's in fourth gear now you've just got that little bit of a twist and go cracking gearbox and that should have been finished years ago that always seems to be something going on and always plenty of power when you need it with the Tiger I haven't ridden the 1200 so I can't compare but the 800 has got more than enough for when you want to just pass those slower vehicles and into the tight chicane right hander of Sparrow Pit I think I nearly got my first peg, peg scrape on the Tiger then <coughs> At least when you're on the same road as all the other bikers you must be on the right road because they might know something I don't
and into the infamous pens ahead always nice to leave a little bit of a gap so you can enjoy these uh, but usually you get slowed down by oncoming traffic but we'll see and see how these bikes fare in front of me there's that slower rider in front Okay, so while we're on the straight now, InBike, uh, very, very kind of them to contact me to review a couple of their products. And uh, they're looking to get more into the bike wear stuff. So at the moment, their products are only the motorcycle gloves that they do. And they have a very, very fair range of those on their website as well for sale. Uh, I have looked at every one of their products that they do sell and uh, I did choose these which they very kindly sent me these and another pair again which I have mentioned will do a review at a later date uh, so these ones are similar and I got these because of the ones that I wore around on the Scotland trip uh, were a great glove they were only a cheap glove uh, these fall in the medium category they're not a cheap glove they're not mega expensive they are just about the right price you want to pay for a decent set of gloves and what I will say is the actual fabric and stitching and the way they're made puts them right up to the high end of gloves in my opinion and I'm not just saying that just because they've sent me these to review and because uh, InBike has sponsored me I'm saying this because the quality and I've had a very very good look around them the stitching and everything about them is very very well put together and you would find less than that sometimes in a higher end glove and as mentioned there's the goat skin on the top you've got the leather on the top uh, with the uh, Kevlar protector the carbon Kevlar protector and what I do like about it is if you look there's a sort of a line a ridge there and it's actually separate and sometimes you get the armor which is part of the actual glove here and you can see when you lift that up you've got the glove underneath and this is sort of on separately so sometimes when it's part of the glove when you actually close your, your wrist um, your fist sorry <laughs> uh, you will feel it pull on the armored bit but with these you don't even feel that it's there so that is a very very good plus point for these here's the underman cafe i did message a couple of people i know before to see if there's anyone i know that's going to be there today I might call in there on the way back um, so yeah you've got the fabric the mesh and the leather on the sort of suede and this bit under here which is just an extra bit of padding for when you're on the grips and again that works very very well so the fit on these I'm an XL in glove so I measured up before I sent these and you can see how there is no slack around my fingers the fit is absolutely perfect uh, you've got the touch screen for using your mobile phone as well on them so that again is a massive plus point we're just going to do a right turn here to Cavendish Mill So this road does lead to another lane which is here which is Longston Edge so this is the one 
we need to be going up, I think. There's a little bit of off-road. Not sure whether this is the one, but... Ah, yeah. So here's our first little bit of trail riding. So if you come from Cavendish Mill and off the Fulow Road and take the Longston Edge, then it brings you to this track. So let's have a look at this now. It's going on the modes. Oops, don't want an indicator. Um, the mode button. And then that's off-road. Pro, we don't want that. We can take that into off-road. And then take off the ABS. Give us a little bit of... I think it's uh, sorry, front brake ABS and back brake off. Anyway, let's see what this is about, folks. <laughs> oh, you see. Now I can feel that back tyre going. <laughs> Spinning the back wheel. Oh, that feels... It feels steady, but... <laughs> oh, there's my first jump. <laughs> Oh, swallowing up them potholes. <sighs> oh, that felt... Oh, that was good. That was good. A little bit faster than what I should have maybe done in my first attempts off-road, but if you don't do it, you'll never know, do you? I think that's where that road comes out, so that workings. Not See, second gear now, if you just, 20 mile an hour, just give it a little blip, you can just feel that. The traction control, just putting you back on the right, on the right foot. Oh, this is good fun. Even a horse thinks so. Now, I don't like the ABS on the front brake. So remember, use that rear because that front brake's too grabby when you're on the loose stuff. So that's good to know. So I think that just goes down. Yeah, that's that house we passed before. So, so it looks like you can actually drive down through the mill and then back out through here again so it's a public footpath there pheasant yeah I'm back into the uh, the quarry so to speak yeah so you can actually 
drive through there. You're not going to do. <sighs> First bit of off-road action for the old girl. Look at that. I was enjoying myself that much I actually forgot I was filming so that looks like that goes to a public footpath is a gate at the end but and that's a shame because they put a load of boulders and rocks and everything down there but I think we'll just have a little bit of an explore See, a lot of people have said to me, why did I go the adventure bike route, or route, if you're from the US of A, and this is purely it. We've got a beautiful Derbyshire countryside, a few little off-road lanes, okay, it's my first little lane, and I've got the stove cooking, a nice little cup of coffee in the background, and a beautiful sunshiny day. So, how can you beat that? Yes, you could take the Harley down these lanes and get it shitted up. Still put the brew tackle in the backpack. The difference with this is I don't have to worry about it when I get home, you know? And it's in comfort and it's in style. So it just gives me that new dimension. But for now, this bike has given me a fantastic tour around Scotland and it's given me the option just to do things like this. And we still keep the Harley for the sickness meets and the Harley stuff, don't we?
loves this loose gravel, absolutely loves it. And to think I was a little bit unsure of that on mull, but now finding my feet a little bit, it's actually a pleasure to ride on. Give it some throttle up here now, up on these rocks and gravel. Oh! Oh yeah! And you can see the way the bike's just fighting and then it gets a grip and then you're back in a straight line again. So, it just, whoa, it just, <laughs> just gives you that confidence. And then back out on the main drag. So there you go, folks. I'm going to cut this one short today. It was just uh, to give you guys a little bit of a, a look at me doing a little bit of off-roading and uh, so that's the first time I've done some proper stuff on this bike and that's made me a hell of a lot more confident with this bike and what it can do and of course there's a lot more to uh, capitalize upon when we find some more trails to do so as that wind died down still quite windy but at another point these new roads we've not uh, got on cam before which is the left road up here we've got some other trail roads down there and tarmac roads that we've not looked at so Next time we come out to Derbyshire, I'm going to take you on these back lanes and let's have a little bit of an exploring mission to do around here and give you guys some different roads we haven't seen before. So I'm looking forward to that. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks again for uh, InBike for the uh, gloves. They are absolutely fantastic. Remember, see the discount code at the end of the video, which is very shortly. So again, thanks for watching, folks. If you've not subscribed to Alcomoto, please check out the back catalogue and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and comment if you dare. Thanks again for InBike for these fantastic gloves. Uh, if you want to purchase a pair of these, on my recommendation, look for the discount code and you too can ride in comfort just like me. I'll see you guys on the road soon. Alcomoto for now is signing out. See you later, folks.